Welcome, everybody. I am Corazon de Bayena, the, uh, the pirate, famous. Anyone? <laughs> pirate, yeah. Uh, you may have heard of me. I recently killed an owlbear on my own. I don't know if you heard <laughs> that. Sorry, it was me. Anyway, that's me. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. I am Egbert the Careless, a dragonborn paladin. And I really feel like, since the last adventure, my atonement rating has dropped. Significantly. How <laughs> uh, do you think? Mm. All those guys you killed. Got to be, yeah, got a little bit murdery, I feel. Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Little I'm Prudence the Tiefling Warlock, and... <laughs> Thank you. And I'm firmly in favour of the new pro-murder stance <laughs> we've established here in our adventuring it's party. It's official line. Well, well, I'm very, I'm very pleased. You've okay. come such a long way. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I am Meryl Wen. A druid wood elf. And uh, you might also see me featured in parts of a cat and a bear. And a meat grinder. <laughs> hey, the grease did most of the work. Oh, yeah, blame the grease. Yeah. Actually, do, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I'm Dob, the half orc bard. <laughs> But that's nothing compared to uh, a little someone I know. Hello, I'm literally everybody else in the world. Hey. Yeah. He said it. And I'm finding out for the first time that drinking horns kind of go like boo boo when you're done <laughs> taking a sip. So I've already thrown beer in my face twice. Hey. <laughs> Not that I'm drinking Cheers. a beer. Cheers. Slantia. Okay, that works. All right, so. This adventure takes place, uh, let's call it the very day after your adventure with the Fienga bus was concluded. <laughs> Only They've just cleaned the tour, blood off. <laughs> um, from the ancient town of Munich to um, San, San, San Francisco. <laughs> not a fancy name fast enough, never mind. Um, and you've decided, being as you are perpetually in need of like, some time off without adventure, Right. On the road to a lovely town called Red Castle. Red Castle was formerly uh, a town with a big old castle in it. It's since become uh, the manor of a duke. Um, and it's basically a, an amazing tourist spot. And you just, you're gonna go eat some nice food, you know, chill out, not murder anybody, just for like a bit. You hear that, Merylwyn? Not murder anybody. Hey, I never said I was good. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> I mean, with animals. <laughs> Have you guys heard of the Guild of the National Trust? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Very I, violent. Yeah. <laughs> Incredibly violent guilds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This conversation is, of course, taking place as you are walking together in whatever order you choose, perhaps in a sort of Egbert Prudence uh, Coruscant. <laughs> Merylwyn. Sure, sure, sure. That's convenient. Um, yeah. And as you walk, uh, out of the trees beside you suddenly come uh, about ten uh, brigands. They are oh, very man. heavily armed. Uh, and as you walk, they just come down and they sort of join alongside you on the road. And suddenly it's you walking with about 10 brigands. Cool. Just <laughs> axes on their shoulders, just. Have you heard the ballad of uh, Vindaloo? Dog. <laughs> 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 By the famous minstrel Fat Les. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess that about 30% of the people in Geth are too young to remember. <laughs> uh, hey, hello, brigands. Um, what, what's, how, are you, how are you doing? Having a nice brigandine day? Is that some good brigandine going on? Save it for Red Castle, mate. Come on. Oh, you guys are going to Red Castle too? Yeah. That's oh, a... don't pretend you're not going to Red Castle. Oh, yeah, I know why we're going to Red Castle, but j just re re why are you going? I want to know if it's the same reason. Same reason anybody festooned in weapons and what looks like some residual brimstone flavoured <laughs> grease <laughs> <laughs> might be going to Red Castle for. It's all Crim's Eve, mate. Uh, yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I practically invented all Crim's Eve. No, you did not. Yeah, no, well. You're not the Duke of Red Castle. Well, he's known to go about in the woods in the guise of a bard, I heard. Did you not hear that? You're behind the times. Anyway, <laughs> tell us more about Orkham's Eve. <laughs> All right, since I'm so behind the times, I will tell you everything I know that is apparently outdated. Thank you. <laughs> Orkham's Eve, or as I've got it written down here, Orkham's Night. 
<laughs> See, oh, he didn't Crimson know everything. Right. Oh, yeah, if he said All Crimson Night. Yeah. Is when uh, Duke Caballo, Lord of Redcastle, tests his ducal guard. Do you, sorry, what was his name? Is it a Venger Boys reference? No. Okay. <laughs> Who are the Venger Boys? <laughs> is he called Lord Boom Boom Boom? Is it? No, that was his uncle. Oh, OK, fair enough. <laughs> right, I'm just checking. I feel like I'm having to check everyone now. Well, Lord Caballo is a stickler for having really good guards. So every year, he invites every thief in Redcastle at sundown to try and invade his home and try and get to his innermost bedchamber. Ooh, cool. They've got to get past the guards. And the one who gets to the innermost bedchamber gets a handshake from the Duke, who then leaves. I'm so glad you And lets you take what you want. It's exactly. a very good training method for his guards. This okay. sounds amazing, you yeah. guys. We've got to get in on this. Uh, Am another I right? guy from the back sort of pipes up. It's like, yeah, but it's a very good, very good training method for the thieves as well. So he loses so much every year. Frankly, the prizes are getting worse. <laughs> well, um, I would just like to briefly. Uh, say something to these thieves in Thieves Cant, because I can speak it and no one else can, and I haven't got to use it yet. So I say, hello, I can speak Thieves Cant to them in Thieves Cant. Uh, the one who talks like this goes, oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> in Thieves Cant. Gosh, it is so nice to meet someone who speaks Thieves Cant. Oh, honestly. isn't it just? Honestly, so I feel really rusty, here. like I'm out of practice. I never get to use it. Oh, yeah, no, you tell if the minute I stop conjugating verbs properly, you will let me know. I know, honestly, I will. Anyway, this has been marvellous. Thank oh. you. Oh. Was there anything? No, that was no, it. No, no, that okay. was it. That's all I wanted nothing to say. Nothing confidential. No, nothing confidential. Thank you. Are we you robbing this. them? Uh, no, no, no. Leave them alone. You're not betraying them. No, 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 no. It'll be fine. We're going to. Re we're all going to Red Castle. Thank you for the tip off, though. It's marvellous. Cheers. See you later. No worries, mate. So, what information did you? Uh, what did you oh, mean? Yes. Yeah, I just I, I asked them like uh, you know if they had any insider knowledge about the uh, and about the job. Yeah, no, they were like you know. No, it's just... Uh, because it seemed very enthusiastic. Yeah, no, 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 it was. But, um, yeah, no, no, nothing. We're just... Uh, it's all good. We're going to go in. We're going to give it a go. OK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, don't you worry. You're absolutely massive head about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a complex about my massive head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <But>, on to Redcastle. <laughs> sort of overtaking. But as you've been having this conversation, more and more brigands and thieves have been joining. Uh, and, indeed, it does somewhat resemble the, uh, the, the ballad of Vindaloo. Because <laughs> uh, there are absolutely loads of people going to Red Castle. And there's, there's a weird kind of festival atmosphere going on. Um, so you, uh, you arrive in Red Castle, and it's, it's very, very nice. It's kind of... Um, it's a very Mediterranean, if you knew what the Mediterranean was, sort of town, uh, with a winding path and lots of like, lovely tavernas and things like that. And there are sort of like paper uh, like decorations festooned across all of the alleyways and the streets, and beautifully illuminated um, in, I guess, you, maybe it's a security measure? I don't know. Either way, it looks good. It's a lovely-looking ducal home. It's the castle of Red Castle, which is really just more of a grand manor. But nonetheless, it's is it red? It, it's, in, it's got, like, a terracotta-tiled roof. So, so like, it's not I'm red. Yeah. Not. To you, it's insultingly beige. <laughs> <laughs> Give me two minutes, and I will have this thing looking like soaked in red. Tip top. Is, Just... uh, is anything about it secretly a reference to the Venger Boys? <laughs> OK. <laughs> to nip this in the bud, <laughs> I promise you Aww. that it's not. All right. Nothing is a Venger Venge Boys reference <laughs> unless you lot done it. And right. that's the most meta he's going to get, <laughs> we hope. <laughs> anyway, so um, there's, like, it's, like I said, there's a festival atmosphere, and lots of like, thieves and brigands kind of like clasping each other in manly sorts of ways and comparing knives and stuff. It's sort of, you're getting the impression it's sort of like teams just sort of being friendly like before like one of the most important games of the season. You know what I mean? There's a okay. sense of anticipation that everyone is sort of checking in, talking industry gossip, you know. <laughs> It's, it's one of those. All right. Cool. Um, I scan the surrounding area to see if any of the thieves have left any thief signs around, any sort of hints or tips or intel that we could use. Sure. Yeah, that would be... Uh, let's, uh, let's call that an investigation check. So, which is tied to intelligence, okay. of course. Of um, course, as I know. You know what? We'll call this a uh, 10. Okay. That is... Yeah, it's a 9. Sorry. Okay. You don't find anything of use, but you do find a lot of messages scribbled in, in Thieves' Cant. Uh, and a lot of them are just threatening. Oh. Wow, OK. They're Fine. like, watch your backs. And 
once the whistle starts, I will kill you. And uh, remember the rules, brackets, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> like, there, there's some really, some horrible stuff that, that you wouldn't possibly repeat yeah. in front of a live audience. OK. Um, Guys, I'm looking at these signs, and they're all uh, pretty murdery. Like, I think these thieves are pretty serious about this uh, challenge. And it sounds like it's some sort of timed thing, like we all go at once, uh, as far as I can tell from the mention of a whistle. Do we feel um, like maybe hanging back and letting them, letting all, them all get minced in the traps? <laughs> and then... the, each other would be the most maybe atonement-y way to go about this. Oh, you're back on the atonement thing, are yeah, you? Yeah, I, I okay. really feel bad about last time, so I'm going to really try my best not to destroy anyone bodily. If there's a competition, <laughs> we should enter, because we lost all our money since the last campaign, between campaigns, as you all remember. Did, did we? Oh, last... no, I remember, yes. Yeah. Uh, it all mysteriously went missing when I went off for a day and then came back and all the money had gone. <laughs> yeah, and you it were was... more upset than anyone. Yeah, I we know. were all like, Corazon, don't be sad. We can make more money, but you were inconsolable. Yeah, no, I was really, really cut up about that. That was, uh, yeah. Still, at least you've got that nice new sword you bought. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. It's nice. I'm glad that something good could come of that whole well, quite. off-screen episode. Yeah, and that beautiful mink coat I was walking around in as well. That was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. But anyway, uh, so now it's... we're... But wait, now wait, we wait, 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 wait. Wasn't the prize a handshake? No, and then we could take whatever we want. From oh, this. stealing, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. We're yes, steal with things. you. <laughs> of course, we're going to steal things. Got it. Come on, guys. We don't All need right, to, I'm in. We don't need to we're steal broke. things. We could, we, could use the, we could use the power for good. Like, once we get the handshake, we, I, I'm just spitballing here, but we could, like, be, thanks, Duke, anyway, you get going. We're going to open up your castle to the whole village. So we're going to get in touch in... with the Guild of the National Trust and <laughs> yeah, open up the house to the public. We're going to tear down these velvet ropes and let any, anyone use the key. Everyone Wouldn't can come in cool? and touch all the paintings. Like that. Yeah, that would be fun. OK, well, is there, I mean, is there a registration desk? I don't know. <laughs> How does it work? A sign-up tent. Yeah. The, uh, your chatter is cut short by uh, a blast of trumpets, kind of like giving a, some form of ducal fanfare. Um, and everyone in the crowd gives like a hearty cheer, and loads of arms holding weapons go up, and you hear a couple Yay! of people. Yay! Yay! Forgot yeah. about that. Man, uh, that's hearty. <laughs> A couple of people get clobbered by people with like shillelaghs being over enthusiastic. <laughs> Don't do that one. Um, and from like a balcony high atop the, the castle, a man in a very fine red robe, reddish, steps <laughs> out and starts to address the people. He's got this enormous like round belly. He's one of those people who will just like rest like heartily on his own torso. <laughs> like it, it looks like he could just live in it. He does. But you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyway, he stands there very proudly wearing like lots of gold and jewels and things and says, People of Red Castle, I, of course, am the Duke Caballo and I invite you to this year's All Crims Night. Woo! Everybody, of course, knows the rules. Yep. No the whistle will sound, at which point all thieves may try to enter my home, get past my guards and reach the innermost chamber wherein they are free to take the prized possessions therein. There are only two rules. Number one, no ducal guard may be killed. This is a training exercise, and frankly, it's a bit of a waste of time if everyone's dead. <laughs> Secondly, other contestants are absolutely fair game. <laughs> because it lowers the rate of criminals, and therefore probably lowers the crime rate. Is that clear, people of Red Castle? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Then I shall retire to my chamber, the whistle shall go henceforth. And he turns and sashays and sighs. <laughs> <laughs> He's a one for the ceremony, in case you hadn't already noticed. I love it. Um, and immediately you see lots of teams start to arrange themselves, sort of like some are in crouching positions, near the gates, which are closed because security. Sure. Uh, other people are standing by with like ropes and grappling hooks and stuff. People are generally spreading out around the external wall of Red, the, 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 the Duke of Bio's home in, in Red Castle. Um, you know that the whistle's about to go in a couple of minutes. All right, okay. people, ideas. Right, huddle. Okay, yeah. how about this? Merylwen turns into a cat. I throw Merylwen <laughs> over the... <laughs> Over. I was going to say climb, but... <laughs> no, I, this I, no time, better. Merylwyn. Yeah. I throw Merylwyn up over the first bit of crenellations or whatever, uh -huh. onto the first wall. Uh -huh. Then Merylwyn turns back, shoots an arrow down with a rope attached to it, and we all scurry up the rope. And we get onto the first floor straight away. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. All right, great, great plan. Everyone? I wonder if there's a way to thin the numbers at all. Are you back on murder, murder no. again? No. <laughs> Five minutes that lasted. Five, yeah, ooh. Man, I can't what? wait to get redemption. Let's kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we could maybe persuade some people to quit. Meryl Wynn, is this plan cool Do you have any you? pamphlets? <laughs> I could bore them to death. Yeah. What a plan. Yeah. Um, I don't, it's all crims night. All the crims are having a night. That's how it goes. I think they're all into it. Was it all okay. crims or all grims? No. Crims. crims. Crims? Crims is in criminal. Oh. The crims are having a crim night. Oh, doing okay. Cri doing crimes. Oh, right. the crims. It's like the purge. Oh, no, it's With not you. a purge episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the purge. It's nothing like the purge. No, you mean the old So we're purging. Hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. During a purge, all crime is legal. During all crims night, one crime is legal. <laughs> so it's not the same at all. No! <laughs> I told you it's not the same. Right, it's, two, it's two crimes, robbing and murder. <laughs> Only if you do any murders. Anyway, look, you don't have to do murders. The... Again, Meryl went, jeez. This gets us into the castle with no blood. Uh, also, everyone else is going to be going for the gates. Yep. Yeah, I think if we can bypass everyone and get up onto the first floor straight away, that'll give us a head start and an advantage. Okay. Yep. And then we'll be, we'll be in the best position. If people are coming up, they'll be coming up the stairs. You know, hmm. If we have to fight anyone, we'll can be at the advantage. Can you use your spyglass, maybe investigate the first floor All right, yeah, let for me, security let me scan, measures? Let me scan this first floor here. See what we got going on. Quick, See quick, if quick. anything looks oh, particularly many yes. particularly good position. To... All right, that will be another investigation check, please. Okay. And we will call this a fifteen. Okay, that is uh, nine plus four. <laughs> oh. oh no! Damn. Uh, is there a first day, floor? Corazon. You feeling okay? Fun yeah, I think this is the this is my bad eye. Let me <laughs> switch my. <laughs> you, feel, you sort of there we go. Just feel a bit woozy when you use the spyglass. Like, yeah. Rah, rah, rah. Oh, that was oh god. Yeah, that was my but, bad eye. Sorry, uh, I didn't see you anything. Remember seeing people milling around? It looks like there are guards. I don't right. know if you've heard the the folk ballad of uh, Dishonored. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like there are some people patrolling. You have absolutely no idea how many, how well armed, or indeed what routes they are taking. Right. Okay, guys, there are guards up there, but to be honest, I'm pretty drunk. So <laughs> uh, I can't tell you how many of them there are, or what even is going on, or what day it is. So apologies. Shall we just go for it? Well, well yeah. All right. Yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah. Let's yes. just go for it. Decisive action, throw yeah. that cat. You throw that cat. <laughs> so, Meryl like, and Hartley, I just how long have been waiting for you to say that? <laughs> you look up, and suddenly, in all their sort of scheming, you realize your faithful companions have sort of just arranged themselves in a ring around you. And you're guys. sort of just, they're just staring at you expectantly. Hi. Oh, hey, hey, guys. Uh, we've decided not to enter, actually. We're just going to stand here. Um, so, if you want to, you go ahead. No, you're surrounding me. No, you're all surrounding Meryl, then. Oh, right, sorry, I thought the, the, the former companions, I thought you meant the brigands. Have they gone in already? No, uh, were they uh, wait, were no, waiting no, they're all waiting. The whistle's not okay, gone yet. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Anyway, we're all surrounding Meryl, then. Sorry. Yeah. I told you I'm really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Expectantly. Right. Fine. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> right, give me... <laughs> Do the cat. Be, Be the cat. cat. Be the cat, be the cat, be the cat, yeah. Stop, how's your throwing arm? It's great. Like a quarterback. It's real good. It's real good. Real bullet pass. Quarterback. So I feel like we should probably wait for the whistle. Or should we? What do you guys think about it? We don't get disqualified. by the rules, we don't get disqualified. Can I just ask you a Can I just ask you a question? So the plan is to throw Meryl and up onto the first floor. Yes. She's going to drop down a rope. Yeah. Well, yeah, then she's going to turn back, fire an arrow down. Oh, OK, with some rope, which with you have rope attached. attached to your pack. Yes. You're not tying a rope to a cat. No. We're <laughs> <No. laughs> no, get a real swing short. on that. And then, and just, yeah. No, we're not tying a rope to the cat. That's just, I just wanted to be sure. Because then you wouldn't be able to turn back because the rope would be constricting you. It wouldn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the plan as it stands... Perfect. Sense. Perfect. I, I pick up Merylwen no. in my large half orcish oh. hands, and I look at Merylwen as if to say, don't you even worry about it. <laughs> and Merylwen seems calmed. <laughs> That's my intuition. Uh, and then I sort of line up my shot, and I wait patiently for the whistle. Very good. Um, 
just before the whistle goes, uh, the brigand that spoke to you earlier comes by. He's like, I just want to say good luck, and I hope I don't have to kill any of you. In fact, if you come across me, turn and leg it, and we'll call it quits. All right? Yeah. What are you doing good. with that cat? <laughs> I'm reassuring it. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't worry. Well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And as he rejoins his companions, they've done this so many times, it's almost like they know. The whistle goes, and there is just a surge of different teams of thieves sort of just tearing over the, the external wall and running toward the actual house itself, which is a far enough remove that when you lob this cat, <laughs> it's going to be a 20. Oh! <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, cat lands on its feet on the other side of the wall. You still helped Meryl, and, and you could throw the cat again. But anyway, um, <laughs> we shall call this one. Um, I, I, I just something occurs to Dob. Just obviously because Meryl went so light. I mean, just as he, just as Dob sizing it up, I, I kind of feel like this is just something that's going to be more about dexterity than strength because Meryl. That's just the something. The problem is the aim, isn't it? Really? That's, yeah, the aim. That's just something that races through Dob's mind and then it's gone. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll buy that. Do you? Do you have animal handling? <laughs> I do not. Oh. I do have acrobatics. Are you proficient with cat? <laughs> uh, Sad. Not yet. Okay. So this could be it. All right. Well, we'll call it a dex check. You've got to beat a twenty. Oh man. Okay. Good luck. Okay, Marilyn. I feel like you should probably get eyes on this. Do you have inspiration <laughs> from previously? Uh. Yes. I think yes. I do. Almost certainly. I'm going to use inspiration already. So wait, 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 do you remember wait, wait, wait. with inspiration you roll two d twenties and take the best result? Oh yeah. Okay. So cool. roll both those together. All right. All right. And then take the higher result. Come on, Dob. All right, Marilyn. Try to go limp. Three. Uh, three? <laughs> uh, uh. And nine. No. Oh. Do you spike Meryl when directly into the ground? <laughs> <laughs> like you're scoring Plus a five. touchdown. <laughs> Plus five is 14. 14. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you land in a flower bed. It's been recently uh, composted. Nice and soft. Bit smelly. Bit smelly. No, you don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> so, the rest of you need to get over this wall. Right. Well, anyone got any wall climbing spells? <laughs> I've got a plan. Oh, wall climb? No, yeah. okay, Egbert. Okay. What I'm going to do, and you can see what I've got in my hand. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Boy. I retreat to minimum safe distance. <laughs> what I'm going to do is light this bomb and place my shield over it and launch myself over the wall. <laughs> what you, what you just blow up the wall, then we can all get in. Yeah. He's That's a ruddy genius. That's where I he was going with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, amazing team playing here from Egbert. Okie dokie, then. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I've got a rope, but if I don't, can I just take a... Can I borrow a rope before I do this? No! Just in case. You can't borrow a rope. I need my rope to get over the wall. Because you you're not blowing up the wall. No, no, we can give Egbert one rope because, like, I'm, I'm sort of fairly acrobatic, so my backup plan is I'll scamper up and I can rope you guys down. Look, why don't, yeah, why don't I just throw a rope over, we all climb over, and then Egbert can blow himself over the wall with a bomb. How about that? Fine if you want to do it that way. <laughs> as long as I get to blow myself over the wall. <laughs> okay, fine. I throw a rope over the wall and then. Climb it, I guess. All right. <laughs> but it's got nothing on the end of it. How's it going to... What's it attached to? All right, to? I attached something heavy. You, <laughs> are you all rolled characters in the game Dungeons & Dragons? I'm pretty sure you all have 50 foot of hemp and rope and a right. grappling hook. All right, Good. I throw my Bottom grappling plan. hook onto the wall and climb over the wall, and I assume you all want to do that except Egbert. <laughs> OK. Yes. Uh, do I roll for this? I tell you what, I feel like Corathum could use a win. Uh, to get the, the rope lodged in, we're going to call this a difficulty check of five. All right. Um, <laughs> Dex check. Yep. All right, so I need to, I've got a plus four in dexterity. I need to roll a one. Yep. Come Just... on, one! It's a... It's a seven! Yay! Yeah! God, I'm rolling badly. There's the rope. Uh, I tell you what, I, I think everyone can safely climb the rope and get over. 
um, if that is indeed the way you wish to go about it. Does anyone here not want to climb the rope? Not me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, let's say you can set up the bomb and the shield for free. Coruscant, because you're uh, expert. Be ready with, mm -hmm. um, I know there's an ability you have. Maybe just be, be primed. Yeah, I'm primed. I'm also at minimum safe distance, <laughs> uh, where I'm not going to be hit by so rubble. So we're, we're right now looking down at Egbert. Egbert. Right? I'm setting up the shield very carefully. Cool. It's taking me. Like we're over the other side of the minutes. wall, and I've retreated towards the house, away from the point where I'm going to be hit by shrapnel or pieces of Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. I shout up. Watch this. <laughs> You're behind a wall. We can't watch this. <laughs> Just before Egbert does this, can I sort of cast my eyes around? Is there anyone like in the immediate vicinity who, who would? We've been shouting, so no one can hear us, presumably. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Well, in that case, I'm just going to like quickly, loudly hum something inspiring to Egbert. OK. Because I just Absolutely. want him to feel a sense of bardic inspiration, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You I'm can do it, pumped. Egbert. You're going to do great. Don't even worry about it. You got this, buddy. Yep. Thanks. I feel a swell of confidence about my ridiculous yep. plan. So that's a d6 that you can roll and add on to your roll, uh, which is good. Because you stand on the shield, you're feeling pumped, yep. you're feeling primed, and then a bomb goes off under your feet. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I'm just going to ask you to make a saving throw. Oh. <laughs> so how do I do that? <laughs> so let me just work out. It's not charisma. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's clearly not intelligence, is it? I mean, it's going to be probably strength <laughs> athletics to try and stay. So it's basically. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope the other brigands are looking at this and being like, what? <laughs> we really should have let Egbert do this first, because if he's just unconscious on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, we'll call, it, we'll call it a 15 that you need to beat. So I need you to roll a 20 and add on your strength modifier. OK. You can also roll that extra d6 and add that to your roll with your bardic inspiration if you fancy it. OK, I need a d20. Oh, did we not give you one of those one. at the start of the session? There you go. How about that? There you go. OK. <laughs> uh, that's a 10. And then this is the d6. Yeah. 3. 13. Plus your strength modifier. Uh, plus 4. Hey! 17. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, Egbert, what does it look like as you sail over the wall on, the, on a shield? Glorious. I can see for miles. <laughs> and I'm basically surfing the shield to safety. Uh, and it has a little glide to it, really, which sort oh, of yeah. defies the, uh, the power of physics, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting it out. I'm into it. Cool. All right. So, Egbert's over the wall. Uh, and I land, and just a little bit of a slide, a bit of grinding metal, as I slide to a stop just in front of these guys, and then go. <laughs> um, so deal with extra. Its sunglasses come down. <laughs> yes. Okay. Nice. Great. All right. So you're now standing there, um, four brave humanoid adventurers, and a cat smells like poo. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you clean her? Oh yeah, I, uh, Merowen, let's clean you up with prestidigitation. <clears throat> Ta-da! Do you want to do you want to get closer to the house and try the throw again? As you look up, uh, you realise that the area around you is completely devoid of thieves. <laughs> the front door has been knocked in. Right. And there's oh, a no. lot of crashing and smashing noises coming from upstairs. Uh, as you're standing there, sort of just like contemplating the scene, someone gets thrown through a window <laughs> nice. and lands corpse-like at your feet. Nice. Because they're dead. Guys, can um, I just say that this whole thing is awesome. I'm having a great time. <laughs> this is rad. Yeah, this is rad as hell. Let's go inside. Should we just go in the front door? Well, I, I mean, we're behind. I feel like that door's been broken. Yeah. I, th I think we need to take like just the, the quickest route here. I'm right. worrying that we're falling behind. OK, so do you want to just throw Meryl one through the door and then? <laughs> Like, bowl her. Yeah. I, think, I think at this point, maybe the thing to do is to just charge boldly but cautiously towards the front door. Charge boldly but cautiously towards the front door. All right, let's go for it. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I'm on a high, confidence-wise, after my excellent stunt. Let oh, me yeah. just, uh, let me just inv uh, do a check through the door, uh, make sure there's nothing I'm missing. It's not like any swinging blades or massive groups of brigands with... Flaming sure. torches. Can um, I also pop Merylwen in my pocket, just because I think it would be cute? <laughs> and also a tactical concealment. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a purpose? 
Um, so as you look through the you don't even need to roll for this. Uh, it looks like a lot of things are missing. It looks like everything the Duke owned and had in this room before is now missing. Right. Indeed, as you sort of stand there surveying, you see one team at least run out with bags full of junk, and they're like, yeah, that'll do. So already you feel like the numbers of, of thieves that are uh, assaulting the Duke's home is, is thinning because there's, uh. there's just some good stuff to be had early on, to be honest with you. Um, as for traps and brigands, you uh, you don't think so, no. No? It doesn't look like it's booby-trapped. If it, if it were, they surely would have been set off by now. OK, guys, let's run in headlong without any heed for traps, I think. Agreed. Let's do it. All right, Good. we go. We enter the, uh, I guess, the foyer. Yes, yes, you do. House. You can imagine it being lovely once, but um, it's not, because there's a dead thief, there's um, just a load of smashed up furniture, uh, and there is a, so there's a grand staircase going up to an upper level. Right. Um, that's got quite a bit of mud trodden into it. You feel like a lot of people just carried on and surged up the way. There's a door to your left, which looks meh, largely untouched. There's another one, which is ajar. Whichever way you care to go is, is up to you. Yeah, I, uh, I go through the dead thieves' pockets to see if he's got anything good. You, the dead thieves' pockets? Yeah, I loot the body. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we're wasting... He might have money. I, I point my paw towards the unused door. Yeah, I'm looting, Marilyn. We'll get he to has. it in a second. <laughs> One coin. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Money for Corazon. It's been clicked. Oh, all right, well. Sorry, Meryl. Guys, I, I got a coin. I'm already up. I'm ahead. I, it I, looks like Meryl wants just to go that way, but I feel like the bedroom would be that way. I think, the yeah, the bedroom will be upstairs, but maybe... What's the what thinking? If there's, this seems like the kind of house that might have secret passages and such. Maybe we should, uh, you know, investigate everything. Seth, Seth what do you think? I tried, I tried. Meryl Wentz seems like she's very keen on this, so should we... Which door was it you wanted to go through? We could split up. Follow the cat. All right, we op open the door that Meryl Wen is pawing at. Do you actually go through it, or do you just go through and then come back again? I go through and come okay. back again. <laughs> 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 I go around and look around, and then I go back in, and then they try to shut the door, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I do want to go. No, I don't know. No, 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 I do, I do. Yeah. <laughs> so after about 10 minutes of this... <laughs> right, sure, sure. Which way are you going? Are you leading them through? Yeah, why not? Staying as a cat? Yeah, for the moment. Okay, cool. Um, so, the signs for this uh, this particular path, as you come through, are pretty good. There are a couple of oil paintings on the walls. Even further down, there's a there's a table with like a pretty all right looking candlestick. To be honest, do you reckon if you were a thief really down on your luck, you'd have that? Yeah. So you think? I have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also I cut the oil paintings out of their frames and roll them up and stash them up my sleeve. Okay. I say to Corazon. Really? And I, I say, yes, were... really. I've got the paintings. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Just uh, in the background, make me a quick dex slight of hand check, beta 10. Um, OK, so as you start to proceed, uh, there that's is... That's a 12. That's a 12. All right, you don't slash the paintings. Um, there is a door on your right, and then quite a long way further down the corridor, there is uh, another door straight ahead there. Oh. Huh. Let's go right. Yes. It's more immediately here. All right. All right. Yeah, go with your gut. I like yeah. it. Save time. Instinct. I like how rashly impulsive we're being. This is great. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Pick a door. I kick the door hard. <laughs> OK. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dob kicks the door. You kick the door hard. Dob kicks the door hard. Right. It swings open. You hear voices go, what was that noise? Oh, God. Oh, Dob. Dob and you Dob. instantly hear steps kind of like clumping their way over to the doorway to investigate. You're it all sound, just standing there. Wait, it sounds like they're walking with a sort of martial, uh, kind of military-esque Now let's go through the other door. Yeah, <laughs> we cheese it to the other door. <laughs> <laughs> and loudly boot it in. No, 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 <laughs> quietly no. open it. Right. Stealth cheese it to right. the other door. Quietly open the other door. OK, you stealth cheese it to the other door. It is really dynamic. <laughs> um, as, so basically what happens then is you slip into a room that is clearly uh, a library. It smells like leather-bound books Ooh. and... Um, Good job we were quiet. Sort of the weird spiced uh, sort of like... <laughs> what was that? Good job we were quiet. Oh, it's a library. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You've already got inspiration. Right? I'm a big rules guy. <laughs> um, so you, you come in, it smells like old books. There are lots of sort of like brass 
busts uh, sort of on pedestals. Um, again, there are a couple of paintings, and there's a mezzanine level up here nice. um, with, with sort of more stuff, some stuff in cabinets, sort of like silverware and all that kind of stuff. <gasps> are we alone? Is there anyone in there? No, you're not alone. Okay. All right, sorry. You Carry see on. a guard in a blue jacket uh, holding a sword, sort of patrolling across quite slowly. Uh, there are, like in the sort of the, the bookcases in between them, you see another guard sort of, they've got their backs to you. There's what, like a couple of them sort of going up, uh, clearly walking up and down the aisles. But basically, so what you've got, yep. you've got a room and you've got bookcase, 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 uh -huh. four of them. Uh -huh. Up there, mezzanine level, not that wide. So visibility here will be poor, as you know, being now career criminals. Uh -huh. uh, in the middle, a little bit more tricky. There, in this corner here, is a little spiral staircase going up mm -hmm. to the library. And then on that far side there, there is a door. OK. So okay. Is, um, well, how, big, how big is the room? In it is, I am going to say, half as big as this space. And so the, the mezzanine. And was there, a, was there a guard up on the mezzanine level? Was that right? There was one guard, yes. OK. Uh, so in terms of feet, we're talking. Uh, Are you calculating a radius? I'm done, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I it... jump up to next to one of the busts and just start just pushing it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Marilyn's busy being adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it's, about to, um, it's about to go over. We're not allowed to kill any guards, remember, guys? Oh, yeah. Does anyone, oh, does anyone mind if I... Could you like, be said? Yeah. Does anyone mind if I try and shortcut up to the mezzanine and still take out this, the guard? Well, what's, guard up I there? mean, you remember when you made everyone fall asleep that last time? Yeah. What's the, what's the range on that? Can you reach people in that? This is so meta. It's not meta. <laughs> I saw him do it once, and I'm asking if he can do it to these guards. It's 94. Well, I want to do it to that. I want to do it to that one guard. I don't want to try like and get all the way to the staircase. Right? Yes. I'm thinking. You can't I jump. sleep and knock everyone out. Well, uh, I want to get. I want to be closer. Uh, it's 90 uh, feet. We can reach uh, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's not meta. But it only lasts for a minute. So then we have to sprint 90 feet. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I want to. I feel like I want to jump up onto the mezzanine. Backflip so onto, right the mezzanine. Back onto the mezzanine. Backflip onto the mezzanine. Doesn't have to be a backflip. Could be a front flip. Does have to be a. Okay. okay. <laughs> I totally uh, hold the 900 up onto the mezzanine. <laughs> no, I just feel like if we get up there, then it's gonna. I don't want to try and cast sleep from down here because if it doesn't work, I feel like I've got no other options. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, right. I see. I see. I see. I sold it. Awesome. Okay. Okay. How about? Okay. I, well, I, I okay. Distraction. Oh, uh, what, if Mer what if Meryl? What if was a distracting cat? She is adorable. She is a already is a distracting cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Can you go and like rub yourself against the ankles of one of these guards? Yeah, do that figure I'm eight go thing and. Upstairs, go yeah. in front of the guard and then just go. Oh, that sounds good. You do that and I'll sleep. Let's see. <laughs> OK, can I, can I sneak around to a position behind one of the guards down on this level, just in case Dob's whole sleep thing doesn't work? Okay. I can maybe go for the old Metal Gear solid. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. Yep. So you're sneaking up behind one of the guards. You're doing that. <laughs> you're going to do a backflip. Can I rifle through like the library index card thing? I'm looking for like eldritch tomes. Absolutely, arcane, you can. Yeah, books. Uh, books. Yeah. Yeah. I like books. Yeah. All right. I would, All right. OK, I would also the like to... Loving your work. Or on my way to, as I'm sneaking across, I want to just scan the room, see if anything is particularly valuable. OK, sure. Egbert, yeah. what are you doing? I'm just thinking back to that time I surfed a shield over a wall. <laughs> <laughs> we all are, right. Egbert. Egbert. Sorry, what? There's another guard unaccounted for, oh. right, on the ground yes. floor. Yeah, oh. but I feel I like I assume maybe... we have a plan. Uh... <laughs> How stealthy Good. are you I'm feeling? excellent. Let's crack on. No! Right. Uh, we'll start with you, Meryl Wen. I need you to make me a charisma persuasion check. <laughs> cat, cat charisma. It's a five. <laughs> yeah. Seventeen. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, as you sort of look, you see the guard. He has a moment of hesitation, be like, "Is this a trap?" Because <laughs> it is, after all, a cat's stomach. But then he just can't <laughs> help it, and he sort of just like stomps up in a very martial way, and it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's yeah, uh, that, it. Um, <laughs> Let's all play with Meryl. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's doing. Okay. Um, so that was the guard. Is that one of the guards down below or up on? No, the, that's the guard up on the mezzanine level. All right. 
Um, let's make sure that you can actually sneak up on, okay. on this guy. So we're going to call this a dexterity stealth check. Let's make it a 10. Okay. That is a, an 11. Okay. You've snuck up behind them. You're in position. Uh, Prudence is, is doing library Riffling. stuff. Riffling. Well, <laughs> just stands there going, yeah. <laughs> okay. Did, did I notice anything particularly valuable as I was moving? Uh, yeah, so uh, you are basically, you don't, unless you're using your spyglass because it's a fun prop, you never really look directly around for things. You just sort of let your peripheral vision guide you. Right. And you get a warm sort of metallic glow from upstairs. That's where the good stuff is. Okay, upstairs. Down here it's oil paintings, but you got a couple of those. And you know, you like to come back with a varied hoard. Or you can have them if you want. Anyway, I have them. Okay, you have them. <laughs> we'll come back to this. <laughs> uh, you are now behind the guard. Um, Dom. Yeah. You're going to try and backflip up. <laughs> Just a normal jump. Just a simple hup and a vault. Wow. It's a dex ac acrobatics check. I do want to make this a 15, though. <laughs> <laughs> do 15? a flip! Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, do, 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 do. Uh, it's a six, but with dexterity plus five takes us to 11, and I've got a double proficiency in acrobatics, which takes us to um, 16, 12, 13. Is that just 13? No. Or takes us to... I'm pretty sure it's either 15 or 16. 15 Math or 16. Oh, yeah, because you get two for the... Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that would be 16, I think. 15 or 16. <laughs> Sounds like a pass, right? <laughs> yeah! Sounds like a pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Be honest with me. Is it just a normal jump? Look, if there's a little bit of flourish, maybe I do that thing where I... An indie nose can bone. I, can I suggest a stag leap? Oh, a stag leap. Yes. <laughs> Legs off at the back. Perfect. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> it's it, beautiful. You've heard of like first and second position in ballet. This is like position 500 because it's well hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then, huh. and then I cast sleep on the guard. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we need a lot of d8s for this. We need you to roll five of them. Five. Okay. Yep. This one. Do you want one this of these? One. Give them up. Two. Is that a D? No, that's, that's four. four. Uh, we need one more, more D8. Any more for any more? D8. Not me. Oh, wait, I've got one. That's A, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, four eights coming up. Woo! Sleepy time. We've got a three. Add them all together. Oh. We've got a seven. Yeah. That's ten. ten. Good. Fourteen. Yes. What's fourteen plus eight? It's 20, only twenty. Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vera Wenks. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's 22 um, plus um, my spellcasting ability, which is uh, plus six. Is that right? Uh, you don't get to add your spellcasting ability, as far as I'm aware. Fine. Uh, on <laughs> to this. You didn't want to. Okay, uh, it only works on the dude next to you. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Ducal guards. But I. Oh. You do need to roll one more to <laughs> one more Okay, here we go. Four. Four, so okay. 26. Yeah, that is fine. It still only works on the dude next to you. So he goes oh, to sleep. Oh, man. Okay. He Wait, was that, well, was that the one that Corazon was sneaking up on? Uh, no, 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 I'm on, no, the, one on the list. Cuddling oh, me. Right, okay. He's the one who's petting Oh, right, well, that's the one I was aiming for. Yeah, no, it's great. It's just... I was only aiming for one and what dude. I was saying to you oh, okay. was you should oh, try well, to sleep like machine, guys. I'm not like one of those white noise things by your bedside. <laughs> I'm just not <laughs> shouting, you know. Okay, right, anyway. So, yeah, he's asleep. Good. I jump on top and start kneading his back and then curl up. It's too much. It's just too much. <laughs> okay, fine, uh, so that guard is asleep. Yeah. You hear a uh, gentle thud from upstairs. Um, neither guard appears to notice. Okay. Uh, so, Corathon, you're in position. What are you going to do? I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rise up from uh. behind one of the guards like this. <laughs> and then lean in for the old Metal Gear choke. Yeah, thought that might happen. Yeah. Okie dokie, then. I just look wistfully into the air and think Are you again. still thinking about the bomb? Yeah. It's probably the greatest thing I've ever done. <laughs> also, whilst things uh, aren't what I would describe as combative, <laughs> Merwin and I quickly tie up the sleeping guard yes. upstairs. Very good. Fine. I'm holding him down by just sitting on him. Aww. I'm helping. 
And now Meryl, Wen and I, while they're doing that downstairs, yes. do the thing where we like pat pause, you know? Okay, so it's a strength athletics role. It's, it is All right. opposed against my strength uh, athletics role. All right, while well, uh, Dob and Meryl Wen are being adorable upstairs, I'm okay. looking for the spookiest book in the library. Something oh, bound. 19. Yeah? You grapple them. Yeah. Yes. Um, he is, um, yeah, he has been grappled. Are you trying to choke him unconscious? I'm trying to choke him unconscious. Okay, we're going to say that it will take you three rounds to do that. Wow, that's long. Whoa. I am going Really to working on that neck. Yeah. yeah. Not too hard. Really working on that neck. <laughs> <laughs> Was he rolling up? 19. Yeah. Interesting, okay. Cool. Um, all right, with that done, uh, Prudence, you're still just um, just having a rifle through the things? Yeah, no, it's good stuff. You're looking I think. It is uh, like a Thudu-esque cult thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like with, with the makes ghost sounds when you open it. Like <laughs> oh, bound yeah. in human skin. Oh, I know the type. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Intelligence yeah. investigation check, we'll call it a 10. Okay, I've got yeah, Arcana. Intelligence <laughs> investigation. Intelligence <laughs> investigation. I don't have investigation. Okie dokie. What am I trying to beat? Uh, just a ten. ten. Oh, 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 sorry. Right, We're rolling off again. Right. Ah. Oh, are we? Okay. Uh, what did you roll, Jane? It's still spinning. It's oh. a really good. It's a really wow. good spinner. Uh, it's like an inception, like inception spinner. Yeah. Eleven. Uh, okay. I got a, I got a twelve, and then you said intelligence, so two, fourteen. Okay, great. Well, you smashed it. Um, yes. You now know the exact location of. Uh, you know that there is a, an honest to goodness grimoire upstairs, Ooh. but there's sort of just like a general interest. Like it's like the Usborne book of old ones. Oh. <laughs> that's on just like uh, not this this like aisle where there's a guard being like uh, choked, but uh. the aisle where like the other guard is is patrolling up and down. Oh, so those two. Okay, uh, okay. But you want that book though? I want that book. It's uh, probably illustrated. He's asleep. Don't worry. Yes. Uh, you have successfully knocked out that guard. Okay, I tie him up and also go through his pockets. Okay. Um, he has only one thing in his pockets. Um, it An enormous is a diamond. Note. No, it is a note, I'm afraid. Uh, and it says, if you are reading this, you have rendered one of my guards <laughs> unconscious or possibly dead. In no. which case, shame on you. Please present this coupon for one free drink. <laughs> at the How local did you know? <laughs> it is from the Duke himself, Duke Caballo. Uh, says, thank you for helping me improve my security force. Uh, I hope they're not dead, or I will hunt down you and everyone you've ever known and loved. Wow, good thing he's not dead. I murdered them hor horribly. Yeah. He's not dead, you've checked. Cool. Whew. All right, so, he's tied up. That guy's sleeping tied up. We've got one more. Guard in here? One more guard, One in, more guard here. in here. Egbert, Protecting what you got? the book that Prudence wants. <laughs> um, Help me get this book that I want for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so whereabouts is the guard? Up on the mezzanine or down? No, 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 no. Down, down in the... the so down. four bookcases. Bang, 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 bang. By um, the shelves. he's just kind of circling the last one. Yeah. You know what, Spooky book section. Mm. You know what would probably knock me unconscious if I was a guard and also be awesome? What? And involves four bookcases. <gasps> oh! Very nice. I look at Dob, and he goes like that, and I'm like, <laughs> nice! <laughs> that guy, that guy. Um, sorry, where am I? <laughs> at this point? Don't worry about it. OK. <laughs> so uh, Dob been... up on the mezzanine is miming. Yeah, oh, and, and also, like, because it's a good idea. Egg, but I've got a good idea. You've played dominoes. You know what to do. And I'm you... like, this went so well last right. time. So for Egg, but for you, you walked into this room, you were like, that sh um, I mean, that shield move was cool. Mm, so sweet. And then you suddenly just like, but? And you see Dob frantically being like, <laughs> Not frantically, Dob. coolly. Coolly. <laughs> coolly. Like, <laughs> like this. You see Dob. Like, you're not sure if he's miming press-ups like he wants to work I'm out like, later. Yeah, I work out too. Or if he can hear some I can form tell. of music <laughs> you can't. I have to because it balances out the massive head. <laughs> <laughs> A dragonborn never skips leg day. Yeah. <laughs> or tail day. Yeah. Or is it legs day? I can never remember with that. <laughs> A wyvern is the... Anyway. Anyway, I, uh, I sort of lean bodily into the... Uh, the furthest of the uh, the bookcases, uh -huh. uh, in order to basically roll them onto the guy, and hopefully just sort of knock him out. I s see this all unfolding, and 
Step out. Ah, ta 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 ta. Oh, <laughs> <coming> to you. <laughs> Duh. The best pleasure of role playing is knowing what's happening as Andy <laughs> when Coruscant knows nothing. Uh, just roll me a strength athletics check. You're going to do it. I just want to see how, with how much force. Okay, with the d20. Yep. Just, just, with, just, just yeah, enough. Yeah, with a d20. Think, think middling number thoughts. Tw oh, it's an 18. <laughs> I trip a little bit. Oh, and really, no. you put a little more weight into it than I was anticipating. Yeah, oh, you no, hit the, the bookcase and they start to tumble. Um, Corathon. <laughs> <laughs> you hear sort of like an emerging series of crashes, just like bump, bump. And I need you to make me a dexterity acrobatics check. Or strength athletics. Which one's higher for you? Uh, dexterity. Dexterity. OK, we'll call it a dexterity acrobatics check, because you're a, you're a rogue. You're trying uh -huh. to do a cool roll. Yeah. You've got to beat an 18. <laughs> It's a nine plus four. That is thirteen. Oh, Corazon! <laughs> <laughs> it's not your day. <laughs> I've already gone back to thinking about the bomb thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume in the monster manual they don't have bookcase, <laughs> so I'm just going to roll. Uh... <laughs> okay, you take two points of damage. Oh, it's not that bad. Ow. A bookcase falls on you. OK. What's it Thanks, like? Egbert! I shout. Quietly, though. <laughs> OK, so the guard... You're looking over my shoulder. Better not be dead, Egbert. Looking at the dice. Nice. You've yeah. killed that guard. Oh, no. Really? Not no, if dead. you've killed oh, that guard. Okay. Good. Whew. Just permanently maimed. <laughs> but is he unconscious? Technically alive. I mean, they're alive. definitely under, like, three bookcases. <laughs> so okay. they're not going to be getting up anytime soon. Sweet. Yeah, cool. so you're all good. Problem good plan, Dob. I love that yeah. plan that was all your plan. Can I uh, vault down and, ca and uh, cast Heal Wounds on uh, Corazon with an apologetic look? Yeah, I think on. I think he should do that, thank actually. All right, I do the lay hands thing. Thank you. <laughs> lay on hands. <laughs> All right. An apology. Okay. Yeah, he also sulkily heals sorry. you. Yeah, how's that atonement going? <laughs> so it's two points, mark it down in your lay on hands pool of points. Um, um, okay. okay, so you're back up. Okay. You're a little bit peeved. I am um, a little bit peeved, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, little bit, a little bit. And presumably you're moving on with Prudence. Are you going for the book? Books, 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 books. Okie dokie. Um, uh, I'm going up to the mezzanine where the valuable stuff seem to be and seeing what looks the most expensive. Okay, fine. I seize the grimoire. Okay. Yeah, good. Uh, you can also, if you want, from the fallen bookcases, uh, pick up the, the Osborne book of, of old ones. Yes. <laughs> it's easy to identify as the one that's snarling. Yes. Um, <laughs> Baby's first grimoire. You Arr. sort of, you feel like... Uh, you don't want to look around in case, like, it, it is actually Cthulhu's, like, fatherly tentacles rather than his hands that are patting you on the back. Aww. But you feel a certain, like, deep sea, like, pfft, like, oh, I'm being praised, hooray! <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> approval! He's, he's Cthulhu's pleased, isn't it? Like, pleased and surprised, you know? I'm, like I'm a, blowing a raspberry. I never I knew what you the... cared Aww. about. Like when you call your dad midweek and he's not expecting it. Yeah, just for a like, oh. yeah. <laughs> Just to say hi. <laughs> just to say hi. Yeah, that. <laughs> just um, having a moment, you guys. <laughs> so, a family reunion. Meanwhile, I'm ransacking the <laughs> Fine. Uh, you have a library mezzanine's worth of silverware, one grimoire, which frankly makes you feel a little bit funny, mm -hmm. like you've got vertigo all the time while you're walking. Um, OK, I, I clank over to Dob. <laughs> yeah. And we regroup on the mezzanine by the door. Okie dokie. I'm assuming, is everyone going up to the mezzanine level? Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, let's they climb. going up by conventional means, or have they got something in mind? <laughs> I'll think of something I'll later. I'll go staircase. Okay, good. Stairs, finally. All right. Um, so you're all up there. Yeah. Uh, you're all up to the next door in, uh, in the mansion. OK. OK. Um, I take a look at the door, see if there's, uh, it's tripwired or booby-trapped in any obvious way. That is a very good thing to do. We will call this... Eh, sort of wisdom insight. Why not? We'll call uh, it a ten. OK. That's a nine plus two. That's eleven. Um, so as you, you, you sort of go to the door, it's one of those ones with, like, a handle, and there's a lock down here. You're like, <laughs> P -p 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 -p. not so fast. You see a little piece of wire hooked through the keyhole. Ooh. And you're like, eh, 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 eh. So basically, the rest of you just see Corathon go like, eh, ah. Oh. And it's like he's forgotten something. He just like casually just flicks a piece of wire. 
and you hear a twang from the room beyond, and you basically the wood of the door splits a little bit as an arrowhead goes <laughs> outwards and stops. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Booby trap nice door, guys. Oldest trick in the book. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't, and I'll continue to not. <laughs> <laughs> Merylwen rolls her cat eyes. Are you still a cat? Sorry, I forgot. Wow. Okay. It would be weird if she rolled her cat eyes now that she's not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> like dice. Yeah. Jim <laughs> in. Um, all righty, so you're going into the next room? Yeah. Yeah. You push open the door. It is a very large feasting hall. Cool. Um, it's got like a, a, like a, a hearth in the middle, and sort okay. of a chimney sort of descending down. Uh, there is a bubbling pot of stew over said fire, and there is like a very long table with eight uh, thieves, not the brigands you saw earlier, but eight thieves are just like, they're stuffing their faces, they're eating like out of big trenches and tearing off like meat from the bone and cutting up apples and cheese with knives and just generally eating in a very fantasy way. Um, <laughs> clearly having a rest stop because they've got a lot of loot on them as well. Nice. And as you walk in, they sort of just look up and the room falls silent. I, uh, I hail them in thieves' cans. I say, uh, all right, fellas, looks like you're having a good, uh, got a bit of, bit of a good haul there, enjoying some uh, food. We're just going to pass through, heading through to the next room. Uh, maybe we'll see you later. The man replies in the common tongue. Oh. You know, thieves can. Don't truck on all crims night. You ain't going nowhere. This is our room. We stopped off here. We're having a bite to eat. We're carrying on. We're doing the looting. Can I make a check of the geography of the room? Yep. So they're sat around this table. Whereabouts is the pot of stew? <laughs> what are you thinking? I think. Um, so, <laughs> let's call it. Room is here. It's very much like a central aisle thing. That's sure. like where the, the fire pit is and the pot of stew is hanging directly over that. The table is sort of off to the left. So we're going to call it like the middle eight rows of the left side of this auditorium. Sorry for anyone watching this on YouTube after the fact. <laughs> <laughs> OK. You get it? So it's, I would say. So it's like square, like rectangular, there, there. Yeah, so there's a long table running this way. Yeah. The pot of stew is probably about the end of the table away from like here. Oh, OK. So, so pretty far away from where they're eating. It, you'd have to knock it a fair way if that's what you're thinking about. And it would only probably hit about four of them. All right. Wasn't and total, there thinking, are how many? Okay. Uh, eight, I said, right? Mm, eight. 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 I take yes. the uh, I take the measure of the group. I see if they look particularly smart, particularly cunning. If they seem to have like any particular thief skills that would be known to me as a thief. Um. Okay. Yeah. You. Well, you have a good look at them. You. Uh, you want to make a wisdom? Yeah, let's make this a wisdom perception check. Uh, it's a fifteen because you're asking for some fairly specific knowledge right. here. It's an 11 plus, uh, plus two, 13. Uh, they thieves, they bad men. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Yeah? They thieves, they bad men. <gasps> um, no. All right, one of them from the back goes, what did you say? <laughs> uh, They're guys? still just eyeing you coolly. You see one or two hands now resting on pommels and, and sort of like knife hilts and like... Guys, yeah. it's, all, it's all Crim's night. I'm talking to the thieves this way. Oh, it's all, all right. It's all Crim's night. You know how it, it goes. <laughs> we talk. always end up killing each other. The Duke wants us to wipe each other out. Why have we got to go down this road? It's yeah, ridiculous. The, yeah. We're criminals. We should all be working together. In fact, I can give you guys a bit of a tip. If you head back to that library, there was a secret door in one of the, If you pulled one of the books that opened up, we were going to go in there, but it looked a bit too much for us. There's only... There's only five of us. But with your crew, I reckon you guys could take it. It was pretty heavily defended. We're not very brave we're like you. Yeah, we're, we're not as good thieves as you, basically. Also, so, I don't know much about thieves, but I've heard there's a load of honor amongst them. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, right, guys? Guys, we just want to press ahead and see if we can find any little trinkets to take with us. We don't want to come see away empty-handed yeah. from Crim's Night. But honestly, if you guys go back down to the... Library, I reckon you could really get a major haul down there. Like, when you finish eating, don't worry about it, we'll just be on our way. But, um, you know, that's not... You, every year, we all kill each other, and it's a real downer. You know, we have the reunion, the thieves reunion, at the end the of the year. The after party is And every dead. year, there's less of us because of this bloody crims night. 
Am I right? Mm. Guys, mm. seriously. Let's, you know, let's change it. Let's change it up. Are it's you not quite finished? Seven. It's not the same guy. No, I could go on. But no, please don't. So listen, it's like this. I know it's all crimson, eh? I know we should be working together. But we ain't. You ain't in my crew. You're in your own crew. And you're on your own. I and if you're not very brave, you don't want to go that way. Because if you want to go that way, you've got to go through us. And if you're not very brave, then you just you want to turn around and take your own sodden secret door out of your silly library. Oh, Why do you think nobody went left? Because <sighs> books. I would like to address... Have you got anything? Because otherwise I'm going to wreck this guy. <laughs> I would like... I would, well, well, now I'm not sure I should get in the way. No, no, no. Okay. Go, no I, go on. All right, I, ad I address the head thief and I say, look, buddy, <laughs> come on. We're all about to brawl here. But hey, how about just between gangs of thieves before we turn this room into a real meat grinder? <laughs> how about you and I TM. just share a delicious cup of stew? Where's he going with this stew thing? Just, know, he's I really just one stew. tasty sip. Is he just going to make it taste bad? He's really into the stew thing. Just one tasty sip. Come on, you love it. <laughs> he's being so make weird me. about stew. Hey, charisma persuasion. Let's check. see where Happy this goes. To. Happy to. Um, I'm going to call this a fifteen. Fifteen. Because easy. he's got no idea what you're planning, and frankly, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs>